Hi everyone, this is Jill Cornelius, Creative Partner 247096. And first I want to apologize. I have been out of town and out of the country for the past couple of weeks. I was in Florida visiting my mom for her birthday in September. And then my husband wanted to go on a trip. So, you know, when your husband says, let's go on a trip, you go. Because you don't know when the next trip's going to be. Anyway, I'm really behind in getting my videos up this this past couple months so I wanted to start off with November then I'm going to do the October and I would also do the September one it's just going to take me a couple days to get caught up um, if you notice I have a little piece of white paper here on top of the kit that's because I was having problems whenever I put the camera on the face of the kit it was always taking me to the web page because that's the QR code underneath there anyway this kit is November it's called autumn blessings there's one, two, three, four, five different templates in there. And the suggested templates to use with this kit are the streamers, which is a fun border, the tiny plants, which is a tiny accessory, and the harvest a la carte, which is a pumpkin. This looks very similar to something that I used in one of my albums from years ago, but it's now a template. Anyway, let's open this up and see the paper. I wonder what I can create with this one. I'm going to take this off so you can't see the QR code because that's been messing me up. Let's go through the paper first. Okay, those were the um, plastic corner holders that they do use to protect the corners. They just came falling off. There they go. Okay, we're gonna just go through the papers. This one is really pretty. It has a ladder and the pumpkins and some flowers. I actually have some little white flowers like that. Paper flowers that I can use with this. Here's side A and side B. This is circles. There could be wood, wood slices in different colors with pumpkins and flowers again. Side A, side B. A diagonal stripe. Sorry, I'll do my diagonals like that. Side A, side B. I like side B. It's a very pale yellow diamond pattern. Sprigs and berries, it looks like. It's very pretty. And that's a very pretty shade of burnt orange. I know what color it is, I just don't, can't remember the name. Side A, side B, that's an interesting one, isn't it? That looks like fun. Side A, side B. Then you get two of these. Side A's, and side B. So if you wanted to use do a double page layout, you could use it both like that, or for single page, and you want to use both like that, or whatever. And then, side A, get two of these also, side B, and two of these, side A, side B. So those are the papers in the November kit, Autumn Blessings. Yes. Let's get through the cards. I have, yes, I have three kits I have to open up and go through because I was out of town. And it's really bad when you're out of town and you know you're getting mail and you want to play with it and show it off and you can't. So keep calm and watch the leaves fall. Farmer's market. I'm actually going to go to a farmer's market because I want to get some berries and make some jam. Gather together. Every year I fall for bonfires, s'mores, autumn leaves, and you. Oops. Hi, B. Side A. Autumn Story. It's a great journaling card with a little pumpkin and some flowers sticking out of it. 
pick of the patch together we have all you can use these to trace your templates over really cute like a small pumpkin I've been ready for fall since last fall okay actually fall and winter are my favorite times of year summer it just gets too hot but fall I'm happy and it's also football side B Family where life begins and love never ends. Side A. Side B. Pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. Side A. Side B. There's actually a template like that. It's in springtime. Springtime. And you could trace that around. Hello, glorious, beautiful fall. Side A. Side B. And then Autumn Blessings, which is the name of the kit. Side A, side B. That's really pretty. I like that. Okay, those are the journaling cards. Let's look at the templates. Do I have a ruler handy? Yes, I do. I like to open these things so you guys can get my initial reaction. I'm just going to cut this open. Make it easier on me. If I knew where that album was, there it is. I'm going to get that album so I can show you how similar that is to something I created on my own that you can create also with your Kiwi Lane templates. But first, let's look at the templates that we have. I'm going to get a piece of paper. This is a flower, number three of five. It measures approximately just shy of two inches, one and seven eighths. Okay, there is a ladder. This is number four or five. Kiwi Lane now numbers their templates, and that is just under five inches. That's number four. Um, a little pumpkin. This is number one of five. And I like that they just over one inch. It's a one and an eight. I like that they number the templates now because now if you lose one, you know because, hey, I had five, but I only have four. Where did it go? Usually it's in my trash can. And yes, I dig for them. This is like a piece of wheatgrass. It's number two. And it is three and a quarter. And this template here, there's, this is number five. It's a great border template for a bracket. It's 10 inches long. Let me see if I can find that temp page real quick in my album. Let's show you all. I mean, uh, you can create anything with your key templates. Ah, there it is. Let's try and Remember this album I showed you? Um, here it is. Very similar. My scallops are just a little bit bigger, but it's the same idea. But you can do that too with any of your templates that you have. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up, and I will be back in a few minutes to do the October kit, which was sent in November. The November kit was sent in October. Really like that paper. We should do 12 by 12 like that. And I will put links to the store, links to my Facebook, links to everywhere. Thank you for watching and have a great night.